Hey guys, uh, today is March 31st, 2020, uh, the day of the Saturn-Mars conjunction. Uh, I've been waiting uh, to see what happened on this day and really nothing that exciting um, really caught my attention. There's a few interesting stories that I'm going to show you that came out today that have to do with this magic square of Saturn and Mars. Um, nothing quite as exciting as we got with the Saturn-Sun conjunction on January 13th. Um, but some interesting stories uh, nonetheless here. So if we look at the magic square of Mars and Saturn, they sum to 370. So I was looking for stories with the number 370. And this is one of the first stories I saw. They're actually one of the only stories that I saw today. Uh, there were 14 deaths and over 370 new cases of COVID-19 reported uh, in Indiana. So we have our 370 here uh, for our, some of our magic squares. And we have 14 deaths, and this is kind of interesting. Because when we look at uh, the seal of Indiana, the state seal of Indiana, uh, the design consists of a woodsman chopping a tree with his axe, a buffalo jumping over a log, sycamore trees, hills in the background, and a setting sun with 14 rays. So we had 14 deaths. which is a Indiana sun number. And on this seal, we have the buffalo. Uh, that's also related to the ox in Chinese mythology. Uh, ox and buffalo are synonymous uh, in Chinese mythology. And... In the Chinese constellations, the Saturn-Mars conjunction happened in the Ox constellation, or the Ox asterism. So Ox and Buffalo are kind of synonymous here. And I've been talking a lot, about, a lot lately about the sun symbolism in relation to the coronavirus. And what's interesting about Indiana is that it had uh, 370 new cases of COVID-19. And Indiana just happens to be the 19th state. Admitted to the Union on December 11th, 1816. So we got our coded 370 new cases of coronavirus, 14 deaths for the 14 rays on the state seal for the sun, and our buffalo for the Chinese zodiac reference to the conjunction. Now if we keep looking here, Uh, this is a story from Buffalo, New York, and as of today, March 31st, 2020, at least 14 members of the Buffalo Fire Department have tested positive for COVID-19, and more than 50 who are displaying symptoms consistent with the, the infection. Uh, this was the local 282. And what's kind of interesting here is that the buffalo or the ox uh, in the Chinese mythology is re related to the earthquake. And if 
we do earthquake sums to 107 in the ordinal cipher and the local there was 282 uh, it's a palindrome so if we just look at it as a 28 28th prime is 107 and I'm going to be talking about palindromes coming up here in my next video What's also interesting about this Buffalo, New York story is that on 4-8-2024, uh, the path of totality uh, of the eclipse that forms the X over southern Illinois, the path of totality for that eclipse passes directly over Buffalo, New York. And something interesting about the date that eclipse is on 4-8-2024. This happens to be four years and eight days after 331 2020 Now if we go back here and take our magic square, which sums to 370, and then we add the middle square of each, sums to 388, that's another number I was looking for today. Uh, this story is out of Maryland. Uh, Montgomery County has recorded 388 coronavirus, coronavirus cases, up 47 since Monday. And what's kind of interesting about this story is that it came out at 1013, which is the exact same time that the Indiana story came out at 1013 as well. It's kind of interesting we have our 370 and our 388. And the stories came out uh, exactly the same time. And there are 107 cases in Montgomery County, County, back to our earthquake number. Seems just to be a really coded story here. Uh, this also came out today. Um, the UN chief says COVID-19 is the worst crisis since World War II. Another World War reference for today. Another story that came out today, uh, if curbing the spread of the coronavirus is akin to being at war, then it is unlike any war the world has ever fought. You can see here they have the tank. And then we have our sun again. A lot of sun symbolism for the coronavirus. The coronavirus is a warning about the sun. Now this is an interesting story too that came out here. Uh, this is from Appleton, Wisconsin. There was a suspect, Troy J. Vansgrinsven of Kakana, Wisconsin, who supposedly followed and then stabbed a police officer. And you can read here, it says the subject had concealed his right hand behind his leg and appeared to be holding something in it. The officer created distance between him and the individual while trying to identify what the male was concealing. The male attacked the officer. During the attack, the subject stabbed the officer several times with a kitchen-style knife. And if you remember here, Saturn. The rings of Saturn are the symbolic two-edged sword. And we have, obviously, Saturn 
would be behind Mars uh, in the alignment of the planets here. So he was concealing a knife and Saturn is behind Mars during this conjunction. And that may sound like a stretch, but it's exactly uh, what, what they're going for here with this story. This is probably just a made-up story uh, to serve the ritual here for the, for the conjunction. And you can see here this was, the suspect was from Kakana, Wisconsin. If you look at his name, first of all. The name they give us sums to 233 in the ordinal cipher. This happens to be the 13th Fibonacci number. Very interesting. Being we're looking at the 13th war as the next official war that the United States participates in. But what's very interesting, I think, is that this town of Kakana, Wisconsin that this suspect is supposedly from. The city has a area of 8.11 square miles for our Wormwood connection. Our Revelation 8.11 connection. find that highly interesting that we got this story like that. So not a whole lot going on today. Uh, some interesting stuff though that are definitely they're definitely uh, making these stories uh, fit the Saturn and Mars conjunction for today. Saturn-Mars conjunction, you know, is a signal of war. It's related to World War I and World War II. What's also interesting here is that the number 14 here, the 14th prime, is 43. And coming up on 4-3, or April 3rd is the Venus Pleiades conjunction. And you can see here from earthsky.org uh, the conjunction uh, is going to be presented as an online event from the Virtual tele Telescope Project in Rome. I've been talking about Rome a little bit in the past uh, few videos. Uh, I've got a video that's going to be, I'm going to put up tomorrow. It's going to be kind of a long video about the nuclear football. I uploaded just the slides for this video uh, a few, day, few days ago on March 28th. Uh, just to document the uh, all the information and slides in case it took me a while to get to the uh, recording of the actual video. I uh, recorded a version of this video t today, but it didn't really turn out that well. So I'm going to try to get it out to you guys tomorrow. Uh, but what's interesting about this is I put it as a private video, and I recorded it a few days ago, and... Today, yesterday and today, um, I got these two comments about uh, the Vesica Pisces. I had uh, left some comments and then someone else left me a comment. But I find it very interesting that in my video that I'm going to make, I'm mentioning the New England Patriots. And I'm mentioning the, it's also about the Vesica Pisces. And there's also IPET Goat 2 information in here. But I haven't even released that video 
uh, publicly yet. And the last two notifications I got are this comment. And then I had left a message about it on someone else's video. And just happened to get a like on that comment. Uh, and this is the exact information that I'll be covering in that video. Just kind of interesting. It seems to me like someone already knows what my video is going to be about. Could be a coincidence, I guess. That's it guys, uh, not a whole lot going on today, not as exciting as I thought it would be, but definitely got some coded stories, especially the stabbing, the suspect is from Kakana, the 8.11 square mile city, concealing his right hand behind himself like the Saturn-Mars conjunction. Okay guys, I'm going to try to get this video to you guys tomorrow. Like I said, I recorded it today, but it, it ended up way too long. I'm going to try to trim it down a little bit. Uh, this, is, this is a very important video, so I want to get it right. But look for that tomorrow, uh, hopefully uh, later in the afternoon if I can... If I can get it recorded properly. Okay guys, uh, thanks for watching.